Could Arsenal be looking to bring in Ansu Fati this summer transfer window? Yes, people. Life will welcome back to another Arsenal transfer news video. As always, if you want to keep up to date with daily Arsenal transfer news vids, you're in the right place. Make sure you subscribe down below on my road to 5,000 subscribers and importantly hit the bell notification button so you never miss a future video on this channel. And please do let me know your thoughts in the comment section regarding Ansu Fati and his links to Arsenal. Do you want to see it happen or do you not want to see it happen? I'd love to hear your thoughts. Let's get straight into the tweet brought today by now.arsenal and it states this. Ansu Fati has now decided to leave FC Barcelona this summer as he believes it's the best decision for his career. Arsenal recently inquired about the player and they expected to return now. Ansu Fati wants to leave Spain. The Guns are still active in the transfer market despite already spending over £200 million and adding cover for Bukayo Saka is seen as a priority. As well as new defensive option after Jurian Timber's long-term injury has been confirmed. And to be honest guys, this does excite me a little bit. Now, Ansu Fati obviously has had a bit of an up and down career. When he came into Barcelona, everyone expected him to be the next big thing. It hasn't quite materialised. He spent a lot of time injured, not a lot of time really starting for Barcelona, and he hasn't quite hit the heights that people expected. I think even the player himself would admit that. So I think he's right in suspecting that he needs a new move. He needs a change in scenery, a change in environment, maybe even a new league, and he can thrive from that. So here comes Arsenal to potentially offer the opportunity. Now, Barcelona, we know they need cash. They're cash-strapped. They're failing to even register Ilka Gundogan at this rate to let, to let the Liga squad. So they're looking to get as much money as possible, really. And if Arsenal come in to try and get Ansu Fati, we could potentially negotiate in the sense that, look, the player wants to leave. You guys need money. The ball's in our court. We've got other options anyway if you're Arsenal. You could go for someone like Mohamed Kudus or someone like that. So it's not like we have to go for Ansu Fati. So I think it's a good deal that Arsenal could potentially start to iron out. Now, there's still two weeks left this transfer. Window. I do expect a deal for Ansu Fati. If it does materialise, would take quite a while. It's not a simple pay the money, get the player. It's going to take a lot of hard negotiations because... We know that there is negotiations to be had here. Barcelona want as much money as possible, but will probably be willing to settle for less. And Arsenal do not want to overpay for someone like Ansu Fati. Now, bringing in Kofi Bukayo Saka, I do agree, should be priority for Arsenal. We know that Bukayo Saka plays basically every game for Arsenal, and it's not sustainable. The kid's unbelievable. He's our own star boy, the little chili himself. But playing 40 to 42 games a season, especially with the Champions League, FA Cup, Carabao Cup, etc., alongside, of course, the Premier League, it's not sustainable, man. One little kick, one little injury, and that's our right wing, uh, right winger gone for potentially an extended period. And that's not what we want to hear because that could derail our season, just like Saliba's injury last year. So Bukayo Saka, the way he plays football as well, he gets kicked by all the defenders. They love to kick him because he's he's just so tricky and so agile. Like he loves to beat defenders, and the only thing defenders can do is kick him. That's all they do because they can't exactly tackle him cleanly because he's just too good for them. So they end up kicking and end up fouling him. He gets so many niggles, little injuries. So if you're Bukayo Saka, right, staying fit has to be priority. But just having someone that can be an adequate replacement to Bukayo Saka could actually elevate his game as well. Because that means that he can spend some time resting. Certain FA Cup games, certain Champions League games. Someone that can come off the bench for him. Also could add some competition to Bukayo Saka. You never know, he might thrive even more under that. I keep thinking Bukayo Saka can't get any better, but... Every season, he proves me wrong. He reaches new heights year upon year upon year, which is a massive credit to him and the training staff as well. My aim for Bukayo Saka this season is to, is to score 20 goals because he's been so impactful for Arsenal with goals and assists. And he's, he's reached 20 plus goals and assists contribution in a season. But my objective for this season for, for Bukayo Saka is to reach that 20 goal mark on pure goals. I want him to have an output type season, just like Mohamed Salah did for Liverpool in the season they won the Premier League, where you're scoring 20, 30 goals from the wing. That's what I want to see from Bukayo Saka. He opened his account brilliantly on Saturday against Forest with a fantastic curling effort. Can he score again against Palace? I'd love to see it. So yeah, bringing a backup to Saka, I think would be a really good option. Now for me, I would still go for someone like Mohamed Kudus, just because He's very versatile in the sense that he can play right wing and also play in a box-box midfield role. The thing is with Kudus is he's being uh, scouted, of course, by Brighton and West Ham, who are both looking to bring in the player. Brighton have already offered the money to sign him. They just can't seem to iron out details between Kudus. Arsenal, on the other hand, apparently have agreed personal terms with Kudus. We just are yet to pay the money. We know how much it will cost to buy, bring in Kudus. It's 40 million euros. That's the asking amount. That is it. There's no negotiation on that. We have to spend that money to bring in Kudus. Let's see if Arsenal will do it. But if we don't go for Kudus, the alternatives are out there. One player that Arsenal will not be signing the transfer window, however, is Michael Elise. He's now put pen to paper on a new deal with Crystal Palace. Congratulations to him. I'm sure he would have got a healthy pay rise there. And of course, that's warded away potential interest from Chelsea, who went a little bit under the cover to pay the um, a release clause for Michael Elise, the £35 million. And apparently there was some dodgy business going on because as soon as uh, uh, Crystal Palace said they might actually bring Chelsea to court and 
contact representatives over this deal. Chelsea backed off really quickly. So something shady potentially went down there. So it looks like at least they won't be getting his move away from Palace this summer. He will be, he will be staying around the football club. So Arsenal won't be going in for him. But there are other options available. Look, guys, there's so many right wingers out there. I know the right winger market is dry compared to left wings out there where there's left wingers in abundance, so many good ones. But you can still get some decent right wingers out there. I do genuinely believe that. And if Arsenal are to target someone like Ansu Fati, who is by trade a left winger to be honest, but can play that right wing position, I'd like to see it happen. But then what's this mean for Reese Nelson? Because Reese Nelson I hear got some minutes against Luton Town. I'm a big fan of Reese Nelson. I really do think he deserves more game time. So could he be the backup for Arsenal in that sense? We heard also in a tweet that Arsenal are looking at a potential fullback now that Jurian Timber unfortunately is out with an ACL injury. Could we look, could we be looking to bring in Pavard, Carl Capitas, Jao Cancelo? I've dropped videos on all those individual players. Feel free to check out after this one on my channel. For me personally, guys, right? I do think Arsenal need to bring in a fullback cover because we don't want to make the same mistake that we made in previous seasons where someone gets injured and we don't replace them. We just ride it out. Now, this injury, although it's unfortunate, has happened during the window. This injury hasn't happened on September the 4th or something when the transfer window slammed shut. So we can afford to replace Julian Timber with an adequate replacement for this season. Even if it is a loan move, I'd like to see that happen. I think that would be a smart, astute business from Arsenal to do right now. So let's see if we do that. Look, there's two weeks left this transfer window. I do expect outgoings to still be a priority at this current stage for Arsenal. But internal discussions have taken place regarding a potential incoming defender. So let's see if Arsenal do that. And alongside, we, we've heard murmurs throughout for the past month at least that Arsenal are targeting a versatile attacking forward, as they've called it. It does seem like it's going to be a Bukayo Saka replacement. Not replacement, sorry. Bukayo Saka backup. So let's see if Arsenal do move with that. The thing is, right, players are available. And because we got David Wright for so cheap on only a 3 million loan deal, we've skirted FFP a little bit. So we can afford, if we do sell the likes of Balogun, Nuno Tavares, etc. Kieran Tini is another one that could go. We can afford to then spend money on two more, maybe, big-time additions to this football club. Maybe one big signing and another kind of, like, backup like filler signing as well. I'd like to see Arsenal do that. So for me, if I had the choice, I'd love to bring Mohamed Kudus and a loan deal for maybe Carl Walker Peters or bring him in on the cheap or Benjamin Pavard, for example. I think that'd be a good deal for Arsenal. But the talk of the town today is that Arsenal may reignite interest in Ansu Fati, who doesn't like he wants to leave Barcelona. He's uh, annoyed of his lack of game time and wants a change in scenery and a change of career. Could also be that grapevine that Ansu Fati's been calling for. A move to the Premier League, a move to Arsenal and a chance to prove himself on one of the biggest stages. As always, please do let me know your thoughts in the comment section regarding Ansu Fati and any of Arsenal transfer news that I've heard. I'd absolutely love to hear it. If you are new around here and you do appreciate daily Arsenal transfer news vids, you're in the correct place. Make sure you subscribe down below. I'm already to 5,000 subscribers. And also, if you're a hardcore Arsenal fan, just like myself, which I'm guessing you are since you made it this far in the video, make sure you become a channel member. For only $8.99 a month, you get access to exclusive Arsenal preview shows against all Arsenal opposition this season, including Crystal Palace for the game on Monday and many other exclusive features. It's the first thing in the description. Make sure you become a channel member. I'm Wife Football. I appreciate you guys all for tuning in and hope to catch you all in my next video. Take care.